everyone welcome to the study hacks in institute of gis and remote sensing today i will try to discuss a very important topic so mainly today i will show you that how we can easily export the csv file from a tibut table so here you can say i have already uploaded a shape file and in the shape file you can easily get this type of a tibut table so now i want to export this attribute table in csv file okay so how we can easily do this type of things i will show you all of things one by one so i hope you can easily learn how it will work for that how we can easily export the csv file from attribute table okay so basically here you can see it show all of those things look like that so now i want to just install a plugin and mainly this plugin help you to make the attribute table so let's go i will show you that one by one how it will work so in this time this is my shape file so for doing these things we have to install a plugin so simply go to the manage and install plugin and here you find out that this plugin mmqgis okay so basically this mmqgis this plugin help you to convert attribute table into csv file not only for that there are a the lot of uses in QGIS. Further, I will try to explain because it also help you to create the animation or column modification or simplification and buffering conversion. There are a the lot of uses are available for this plugin. So you can simply write here MMQGIS, and you can simply this is that. Simply click on here. This uh, uh, plugin I already installed it, so simply install that things. After installing, you can simply click on the MMQGIS, okay? And from here, you can see about that different types of options. You can see the animate lines, animation, animate location, animate uh, sequence, uh, animated zoom and pan. So combine. So this type of things I will uh, discuss later. In this time, I talk about that import and export. Here you can see attributes export to CSV file, geometry export to CSV file. I need the attribute. So just I simply click on the attribute export to CSV file. And further, which column you want to export? Suppose in this time, I need the column for that. This column, suppose I need for the admin level, this column I want to need. And further, I just simply, uh, you can say output CSV file, where you want to save it. So you can simply default or you can uh, change your folder directory. So I use the same folder. And further, I just try to apply. So now you can see it exported all of level. So in this time, it exported. If you want to need the multi, just you can simply select the multi line about that. Suppose I select the multi and then further I just simply uh, click on here and I put the new name. Suppose I put the name is name is that um, data. Okay. And then okay. And further in this time I selected the three column. Basically it's my column of my attribute table and I want to export it. So just click on here. You can see it will be exported very quickly. We can it export it. So now you simply open this file uh, from my location where I exported these things. So here you can see this is the one, this is the another. So suppose I simply click on here. So now we can easily get this all of column. You can see, okay, very quickly you can get it. So you can see it show about that uh, this type of last modification. We can get that equal second to the shape length. So which column you want to export? Simply select, then it will be exported all of column as a CSV. So further you can easily work with other type of things using these things okay so i hope these tricks is also help you for a lot of work so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe